Okay, so now I'm going to go over um, part of the number three. Um, and some of this answer depends on your exact assumptions uh, and what you find out in terms of the cost of an LED and the energy use or the power use of an LED. Um, but here we have a, um, so this is number three, excuse me, question three for, this is lab nine for energy 101. Okay, question three here. Let's do a little of this. Okay, so we got question three. So we're changing some lights here, et cetera, et cetera. You can read it. And so we're looking here for a simple payback. Okay, so right now we have, we have incandescent lamps. We're gonna change to LEDs, okay? We're starting with a 60 watt incandescent lamp and an equivalent LED for five hours a day for a year. This is important, that's how much we're using it. So now you have to figure out what's the uh, simple payback of changing to an LED. So I want you to look up how much it costs for an LED and look up an equivalent, um, if you're replacing a 60 watt incandescent lamp, okay, you don't wanna have any less light coming out of it. So you can easily find this on any website that sells LEDs and it'll tell you it's a 60 watt equivalent. So I'll let you find that out. Um, and then once you get that, obviously you have a wattage, right? So you have wattage and then you have your hours per day and you have your days, sorry for my writing, per year, All right? So you guys can figure that out very easily at this point, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go over the simple payback part. So remember simple payback, our simple payback, payback is the difference in upfront cost divided by our annual savings. Okay, um, and so as I explained in the lecture, the upfront cost difference, it's, this is always, taking a step back, simple payback is always involves a choice between two things, never more than two, never less than two, it has to be two things. So in this case, my choice is, I already have my 60 watt, okay, so I already have this. So my choice is do I keep that and just keep using my 60 watts for my lamp or do I change to the LED? Okay, so my choice is, I'll just write this down, choice is keep incandescent or change to LED. Okay, so this is number one and this is choice number two. Okay, so the upfront cost difference is the difference between those two choices in terms of my out of pocket costs. So my current, so if, if I would keep my incandescent, okay, so choice number one, my upfront cost is zero, right? Because I already have it, zero dollars. Choice number two, my upfront cost. Now this you can look up. I'm gonna um, just throw it down here. It's about $2 per LED, which is about right, okay? And so my upfront cost difference is $2 minus $0, right? So it's gonna be $2, okay? So that's my upfront cost difference. So I have this. Um, and I apologize for the writing, but I'm writing on a very small screen here. Okay, so now I need to know my annual savings of changing to the LED. I'm gonna let you go through that calculation, but you can easily figure out if I have a 60 watt incandescent and I use it five hours a day, every day of the year, how much it's gonna cost me, and then you do the same calculation for my LED. So let's say I calculate my annual cost, annual cost of my incandescent is um, about, and I did this separately, 1642. And then my annual cost for my LED, an equivalent LED, the one I found is about $2.46 per year. Okay, so my annual savings is just gonna be, um, so my annual savings is gonna be 1642, gosh, sorry about the writing, minus, to 46. And I'm just gonna ballpark this because I don't have my calculator handy. 
So it's about $14, all right? So my annual savings is about $14 and you can figure out the real numbers, okay? So my upfront cost difference is $2, my annual saving is 14, so my simple payback is really easy. You just do upfront cost difference is $2 divided by my annual saving is $14 per year. And if you do the math, you're gonna get about 0 0.14 years, okay? And again, sorry for squeezing that in there, but your numbers may be a little bit different, but they should be in that ballpark definitely less than a year. Um, maybe it's up to a half a year, six months or so. Um, but just really important to keep in mind that when you do a simple payback, that you're always calculating the difference between two choices. And both of those choices could involve an upfront cost, as if you're, for example, if you're buying a new furnace um, and you're doing one furnace has one cost and one furnace has another. But sometimes one of the choices is doing nothing. Okay, um, all right, so that's how you arrive at that answer.